All right, so here we're looking at ordered pair solutions to linear equations, and that, and this is just a, I guess, a fundamental connection that you want to make between the graphs of lines. So we have this line right here, and the points on the line. Um, so they're asking you here which of the following ordered pairs represent a solution to the equation graphed below. So that just means, right, these ordered pairs are are these points right here. And the line they're referring to is the one they have graphed. So one way you can tell if a point is a solution uh, for a line is to see if the point is on that line. So you would graph these, negative 2, 0, start from the origin, back 2, and then don't move. This point right here, negative 2, 0, is not on the line. It's not a solution. Negative 1, 0, however, right, is on the line. So that's a possible right choice you can pick. 0, 0 is not on the line. 1, 1 is here and not on the line, and then 2, 2 is here and not on the line. So the only um, solution that is listed here is negative 1, 0. And you can test this out. If You should think about these as you work through them as, as a test for yourself. Try to write the equation for the line and see if this point is a solution. So here, right, the point um, negative 1, 0 is our answer, but let's look at this point right here. It's the y-intercept. What point is that? Well, it's 0, 1, so that's our y-intercept, and our slope. Well, pick a point that's friendly. I'll try this one over here, and we notice that we go up 2, over 2, so that's 2 and 2. Our slope is then 1, because the slope is delta y, or change in y over change in x, so it's 2 over 2, and y is equal to 1 times x, or x, plus 1. That's our y equals slope, which is, again, just 1 times x plus b, or the y-intercept, that's, we're writing that out in y equals mx plus b, or slope intercept form, here, and if we plug in the point negative 1, 0, negative 1 is x, right, so it's negative 1 plus 1, and what does that equal? Well, that equals 0. So that's the idea that if we plug in negative 1, that y equals 0, that's a point, negative 1, 0. And all these other points on the line also work in the equation. So take this point right here, this is 4, 5, right? If you plug in this point to the equation, it also works. So y equals x plus 1. x is now 4. Add 4 and 1, and you do get 5, the point 4, 5. So any point on the line will work for that equation. In other words, any point on a, on a line is a solution for that line. Thanks.